first of all, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, I think that uh, this is going to be a very great show for us. Uh, we all have a good feeling about the show, which we don't normally have. Like, you know, we do play live a lot, but um, as we are in a studio recording cycle right now we aren't really that active playing live so we haven't done a show for several months so you know you itch a little for playing live again since that's an important part of what we do and live for so so that's uh, one thing and another thing is that we have planned for a quite special show here in our own time uh, our own home hometown uh, and you know we're playing at an institution in Norway like Inferno has become an institution in the metal environment of Norway and actually Satyricum played live for the first time like 17 years ago on uh, Easter Eve on Rockefeller so uh, it kind of brings us, uh, brings us in touch with you know the, the history of live shows and it was a very big deal back then playing here uh, which was actually before the Inferno festivals had started and probably in initiated the whole thing like you know having a metal event happening during Easter in Oslo uh, and it's a very big deal now since it's a long time since our last show and we're gonna put up a special pyro show and everything we're gonna present a little taster from our coming album which is the first time we're ever going to do uh, and it's a very special audience here at Inferno you know it's a mix of fans from our own hometown plus you know lots of media people and people from the record industry and you know, basically everybody comes over to, to this one event and you have them all gathered at one place you know the people that you go around and see internationally uh, they come here as well as you know the, the local people that we know and it creates particular sense of um, should I say it's a it's a bit uh, solemn that, that's what we feel it's a uh, it's really you know a, a solemn affair playing the show and uh, and we have decided to actually uh, emphasize just that aspect of the show when we play tonight I think it's gonna put a mark on the band and that it will actually benefit the whole show the, what can you tell about the so you said you play some uh, songs from the new album that you're recording mm -hmm. we're giving a little taster just a okay. little glimpse it's it's a short instrumental opening uh, and, uh, I think it will give a certain hint though what the f coming album holds I mean the album uh, is about to be uh, recorded these days it's still not finished uh, but I think that this one song will give a certain glimpse of what is to come but it doesn't tell that much either because uh, it's a short instrumental while there are you know nine other songs on the album well where most of them are ordinary songs with structure and, and vocals and you know all the traditional elements but it, but it tells something uh, I'm myself very curious about the reactions actually because this is an album that we have invested enormous amounts of resources into. I mean, we have rehearsed so much uh, and we have been putting our our souls into the project and, and still are as it goes on, even as we speak. And who took part to the writing process? Is it just you and Satyr or the whole band? Yeah, it has been the two of us, uh, as always. Uh, and. Uh, one of the live guitar players uh, has been with us quite a bit as well and he has been rehearsing with us and he has been 
recording guitars on the album so both he and Satira are recording guitars and bass on the album so there has been three of us uh, on most of the rehearsals for for this uh, this new album now but Satira writes all the material like he has always done you know he's the he's the brain behind it the, the composer and in many ways the, the spirit behind them and do you have an idea of the release period yes I know exactly when it's going to be released okay. at least for as far as Norway goes it's the 9th of September I think it's basically the same for for the other territories like mm. North America around the same uh, rest of Europe around the same rest of the world somewhere in September as well I guess and uh, for the last album you told massively to support it yes, we uh, did. worldwide what are your plans after this one are you gonna do the same there are <coughs> there are gonna be tour cycles following this album too I mean probably a couple of rounds in Europe perhaps one or two in North America and we're gonna play South America Japan Australia a separate round in the Nordic countries I suppose uh, we basically want to put a lot into it but we also want to you know push everything a bit further uh, we're gonna push ourselves a bit further in order to be able to deliver on an even higher level but also we want to see too that you know everything that we does makes sense uh, and when we plan the tours we're gonna put a little more work into you know making tours being good good tours and not you know just do lots of shows because uh, logistics dictated you know if we're going from one place to another and uh, there's a long drive we don't simply you know put up a show somewhere in between the two places because that's practical we're gonna set up shows where we know that we have you know a decent fan base uh, and where there are good places for us to play uh, and be much more you know specific about where we go instead of letting somebody else just put up a tour for us and saying that we're, we're getting you know these and these offers and we just put them up on, on the tour and fix the logistics we're going to be a bit more involved than that now and but yeah there are going to be massive amounts of, of live shows I'm, I'm sure and what are the best places for you? Oh, you know, it gets more and more difficult to point out uh, as we have toured quite a lot now and there have been many good shows and, you know, sometimes we experience that we have some of the best shows in places where we have pretty negative experiences from beforehand. So it's really difficult to say. I mean, we had uh, lots of really great shows when we toured South America in 2011. Really fantastic. That's what um, a lot of bands say. South America. Yeah, great. Really, really awesome. So, so that stands out. But I mean, you can get just uh, as good the crowd in in Moscow as in in uh, Chile. In Santiago, for instance, uh, where we had a really good crowd, or or um, Sao Paulo or, or Buenos Aires. I mean, the Moscow crowd is a really, really good one. We have good crowds in in Milan and Paris and London, all the larger cities. So, I mean, there are lots of places where we like to play now, and some of the larger cities in North America are usually fantastic as well. And sometimes, you know. We expect nothing and it turns out to be great so uh, basically you know what it's all about is that uh, the planning is done well and that you just don't put up shows that uh, you know means quite little but are just you know put there because it's practical or because somebody else has basically just pick places at, mm. at random for you. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Well, I prefer to communicate when uh, I'm on stage, 
playing with my band. Sure. That's that's my true way of communication. I mean, this is this is a kind of meta communication, right? Even if that's important to you, the real deal is happening on stage. Sure. So see you on stage later. Okay. Thank you very much. See you out in the crowd, I suppose.